here in i button and description box below you will get complete playlist of laplace transform uh, and <clears throat> here we are going to solve a problem which is from the topic inverse laplace transform basically uh, i would uh, like to show you something that is from video number 19 okay from video number 19 to video number yes that is 30 we are solving various problems on the topic inverse laplace transform all these questions are very 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 important i would i would suggest you i would request you to solve each and every problem okay and that too in this sequence only in this sequence only so that you will get very good uh, command over this topic okay and over this all these questions out of all these questions this question number 27 is most important problem okay other questions are also very important but this is the most important problem okay so let us start with the problem welcome to video number 24 and in this video we are going to solve sixth problem on the topic that is inverse laplace transform okay so the question is evaluate inverse laplace transform of s square minus 3s plus 4 upon s cube okay this is basically my f bar of s that is s square minus 3s plus 4 upon s cube okay we need to solve this part okay we need to find the inverse laplace transform of this f bar of s okay so write f bar of s that is s square minus 3s plus 4 upon s cube okay now we are uh, writing this as 1 upon s that is s square upon s cube can be written as 1 upon s okay minus 3s upon s cube can be written as minus 3 upon s square plus 4 upon s cube is as it is okay we have three different different terms now we are going to yes now we are going to apply inverse laplace transform on both the sides okay now taking inverse laplace transform on both the sides then we have inverse laplace transform of f bar of s which is this part fine yes this equals to inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s taking minus 3 common okay inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s square then taking plus 4 common we have inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s cube okay yes now we have certain formulae yes that is inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s is how much 1 okay inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s, is, s minus is how much e to the power 80 okay okay inverse laplace transform 1 upon s to the power n that is t to the power n minus 1 upon factorial n minus 1 okay so we are going to use this and this formulae okay first is inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s is how much 1 applying this formula over here that is inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s that is how much 1 fine now coming to second and third term okay by using this formula we can solve that part that is inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s to the power n equals to t to the power n minus 1 upon factorial n minus 1 okay if you see this term that is inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s to the power 2 okay if you compare this with this you can see the value of n is how much 2 okay yes so the formula is t to the power 2 minus 1 upon factorial 2 minus 1 fine okay t to the power 2 minus 1 that is t to the power 1 upon factorial 2 minus 1 that is factorial 1 okay the value of factorial 1 is how much 1 t to the power 1 is t okay so we can rewrite this as how much t fine now coming to the list last term that is inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s cube okay again if you see using this formula you have n equals to how much that is 3 okay so since the value of n is how much 3 so the formula will be t to the power 3 minus 1 okay t to the power 3 minus 1 that is 2 upon factorial 3 minus 1 that is again 2 okay so t square is as it is the value of factorial 2 is how much 2 okay so 4 upon 2 will be how much 2 now you can see here we have solved this part okay i know that this question is very 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 easy as compared to the previous questions okay the idea behind solving this question is simply separating these terms okay and taking inverse laplace transform on both the sides you can easily solve this problem okay this is one of the very easiest question okay you can see here we have used two formulae that is inverse laplace transform inverse laplace transform 1 upon s that is how much 1 and the second formula that we have used is inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s to the power n and the value is how much t to the power n minus 1 upon factorial n minus 1 okay hope you have enjoyed this video okay
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच